This is an ultrasound case of perforated gastric ulcer in a young male patient aged 21 years uh, who presented uh, with uh, generalized abdominal pain. After examining all the abdominal organs, uh, I noticed a small amount of free fluid in the pelvis. I noticed uh, that it was uh, not an echoic bilinear probe. Here we see internal echoes in the fluid. Uh, I suspected uh, perforated ulcer, so I moved the stomach. Uh, this is a short axis view of the gastric antrum. Here we see a mural defect on the anterior wall from the inside, this echogenic uh, semicircular uh, lesion here on the anterior wall. It was confirmed after the patient uh, drank water and in multiple different positions. This is another view. Here we see that uh, this mural defect is uh, in the subserosal area of the wall. Here we see echogenic fat adjacent uh, to the area of the defect. This is the greater curvature. This is echogenic fat near the stomach. This is the free fluid again. And this was the appendix uh, which uh, looked congested but not inflamed. This is the defect again. And we see that it contains echogenic foci uh, which are uh, air bubbles from the lumen and it reaches the serosa. Another view. Here, by comparing the anterior and the posterior walls of the stomach at the level of the antrum, uh, we don't see all the layers of the wall at the level of this defect, we see only the serosa. This is another view. Here we see echogenic uh, foci, but they are inside the lumen and uh, we see cometal artifact behind them uh, and we don't see uh, absence of the layers of the wall so these are inside the lumen but this is inside the wall in this view uh, there is uh, a lymph node normal shape, echogenic fat around it, the fat, the fat hel helum is preserved in the lymph node. This is the examination of the stomach after the patient drank water. Here we see the defect of the anterior wall.
to deflect uh, measured uh, 30 millimeters The patient uh, presented by history of generalized abdominal pain, epigastric pain in the last month, and now uh, the pain has become much severe. Uh, the history of the patient revealed that he has previously taken analgesics for a prior orthopedic surgery. So, uh, this ulcer uh, is likely due to non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs use. It was confirmed uh, by surgery on the anterior wall of the stomach 